time to separate the pretenders from the contenders. Let's do this. Alright, so let's start off with the AFC, then the NFC, and then I'll tell you what the seeds are going to be. And hopefully, I'll be right. Alright, let's start off with the AFC East. Buffalo, they're a pretender. Their offense is one of the worst in the league and probably the worst in franchise history. Josh Allen has to show improvement. If he wants to show him, he is the future of their franchise. Miami, they're a pretender. I don't know how much longer Ryan Tannehill is going to be out, but the longer that he is out, the chances that Miami goes to the playoffs go down. New England, come on. They're a contender. We know they're going to win their division. Moving on. The Jets, they're pretenders as well, but I do like how Darnold's played. He showed that he is the future of their franchise, and I feel good about the years moving forward for the Jets. Just not this year. Let's move on to the AFC North. Baltimore, they're a pretender. They're 4-4. Four four. They started off strong, but they have to win at least six games if they want to have a legit shot at the playoffs, and they got to go play the Steelers and the Bengals back-to-back. -back. They later have to go play in Atlanta, in L.A. to play the Chargers, and in KC to play the Chiefs. I just don't see six wins there. Cincinnati, contender. They have really shown that they can come together as a team, giving Marvin Lewis the extension. While that drew some criticism, looks like it might have been the right move. Might have been. Might have been. Cleveland, they're still a few years away, but Baker Mayfield has played really well. The Browns need to feel really good about the quarterback position moving forward. Pittsburgh is a contender. They started off slow, but they have really rebounded. Now they're leading the division, and I do not expect them to give it up. In fact, I only see them losing one more game this year. Houston, talk about a slow start. You start 0-3, your season should be over. But no, Houston ends up winning five straight, and they are now leading the AFC South. They are a contender, and I expect them to make the playoffs. Indianapolis, they're a pretender. Andrew Luck, he is back. Unfortunately, we know why he hasn't done well the past few years, because the Colts really don't have a good overall team. They've got to put that team together, especially this defense. Jacksonville, they're a question mark. When are they going to get Leonard Fournette back? When is this defense going to show what it did last year? And when is Blake Bortles going to stop being Blake Bortles? Yeah, they're a question mark until I see some results. Tennessee's a question mark, too. I just don't know how to get a good read on this team. One week... They come back in overtime and beat Philadelphia. The next week, they get shut out by the Ravens. <sighs> Moving on. The West, Denver is a pretender. The Case Keenum project is not working right now. The defense is still good, though. Kansas City, this is probably the best team in the AFC right now. Patrick Mahomes is a legit MVP candidate. Kareem Hunt, he's building off of that rookie year. And this defense has been pretty good. Chargers. Phillip Rivers looks like he's a legit MVP candidate, and this Chargers team has just come together. They're probably the second best team in the AFC. And Oakland, well, when you trade away Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper, you're gonna be a pretender. All right, time to move on to the NFC. Let's start with the East and Dallas. These guys are a question mark. I can't get a good read on them either. I don't know if they are gonna finish strong or finish weak. It's all gonna depend these next few games, whether they are a pretender or a contender. Giants, they're one and seven. They're a pretender. Let's move on. Philadelphia, I'm gonna put them as a contender for now, but they are four and four. They gotta keep winning if they wanna stay on track to get back to the playoffs. And Washington, they are a contender. They're leading the division, and this team has really come together. The NFC North, Chicago, they are a contender. They are leading the division right now. I'm not joking, they are leading the division, really coming together as a team. Getting Khalil Mack was probably the best thing for this defense. Detroit, they are a pretender. They've had a roller coaster year. They just traded Golden Tate. I just don't think Detroit has enough to get to the playoffs this year. Green Bay, they're still a contender because they still have Aaron Rodgers. Yes, they traded Ha Ha Clinton Dix and Ty Montgomery on Tuesday. However, they still have Aaron Rodgers. They're going to be a contender. Minnesota, they're a contender as well, but they've got to keep winning. It's just like a, with a lot of these teams, they have to keep winning if they want to stay within the playoff race. NFC South, Atlanta is a question mark. They started 1-4, but now they're 3-4. and four. Can this team keep winning? The biggest problem with Atlanta right now, they have to deal with Carolina and New Orleans, two very good teams in that division. I don't know if Atlanta has enough to get to the playoffs. Carolina, they are a contender. This is one of the best teams in the NFC. They have just done so well. This could be a sleeper team going into the playoffs. New Orleans, they're a contender. What they have done this year has been great. Drew Brees at 40 years old is still playing like Drew Brees. He's not lost a step at all. Tampa Bay, they started off strong, but they kind of faltered. 
They are a pretender. Now they have a quarterback controversy. This year, it's just not good for Tampa Bay. The NFC West, Arizona is a pretender. However, Josh Rosen keeps improving. You got to feel good about the future for Arizona. The Rams, they are a contender and probably the best team in the NFL. They are still the only undefeated team. And after that win against Green Bay, who can slow them down? San Francisco, they are a pretender. Oh my God, oh my God. Losing Garoppolo the way they did, when you lose your quarterback, it really takes a lot out of your team. However, he will be back next year. You got to feel good about them going forward if Garoppolo keeps showing how good he really is. And Seattle, I'm going to put them as a contender for now. I don't know why. I just feel like they still have a chance at the playoffs. But they've got to keep winning. A lot of teams that are on that fringe, they got to keep winning if they want to have a chance. All right, now let's move on to the seedings. In the AFC, KC will have the number one seed. This team, if they keep playing the way they do, I realistically only see them losing one more game. But they got to keep it up. Patrick Mahomes has got to keep it up. New England, we're going to go with the second seed for them. Look, they finished strong, and Tom Brady's still Tom Brady. The number three seed, I'm actually going to go Houston on this one. If they keep that momentum up, who knows what's going to happen at the end of the year. Pittsburgh will then take the number four seed. The Chargers will have the fifth seed, and the Bengals will have the sixth. All right, let's move on to the NFC. Come on, you know I'm gonna pick the Rams at the number one seed. This is probably the best team in the league this year. New Orleans, they're gonna have the second seed, probably the second best team in the NFC. I say Washington has the number three seed. Chicago takes the number four seed and the NFC North. However, the Packers get the sixth seed. And who gets the fifth? Carolina. All right, those were the pretenders and the contenders and my predictions for the playoff seedings. And when the playoffs roll around, let's see if I'm right. All right, I will see you guys for College Football Friday.